Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these given uh, simultaneous equations. Square root of x plus y equal to 7 and x plus square root of y equal to 11. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have copied down these two equations and now since we are dealing with the square root of x and uh, square root of y so therefore let me call this x equal to u square and on this side let me go ahead and call y equal to v square so let's go ahead and replace x equal to u square and y value equals to v square in these both equations we are going to get square root of u square plus y is v square equal to 7 here square and square root they undo each other we got u plus v square equal to 7 and now let's go ahead and move this v square on the right hand side so therefore u equal to 7 minus v square and let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one and now let's focus on this equation on the right hand side so this could be written as x in our case is u square so i can write u square plus square root of y why i'm going to replace it by v square equal to 11 and here square and square root this is gone so we got u square plus v equals to 11 so let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number two and now let's go ahead and substitute this u equal to 7 minus v square value in equation 2 so this our u square is going to become simply 7 minus v square and then square plus v equal to 11 and now let's go ahead and expand this given binomial by using this formula a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square in our case this is our a and this is our b so therefore we are going to have 49 minus 14 v square plus v square and square that's going to make v power 4 plus v equals to 11 and now let's go ahead and move this 11 on the left hand side and now let's go ahead and simplify and rearrange in the descending order so we are going to get v power 4 minus 14 v square minus rather plus v and then 49 minus 11 is going to become positive 38 equal to 0 and now we can see that the coefficient of this v square is negative 14 and the coefficient of this v is 1 so we are going to find the factors of this given equation and here we can see we can write this 1 as 20 minus 19 we are just looking for a combination so that we can see now 19 and 38 if we multiply 19 times 2 we are going to indeed get 38 and now let's focus on this negative 14 this could be written as negative 4 minus 10 and here we can see that 10 times 2 is 20 so therefore our this equation could be written as v power 4 and negative 14 v square i can write negative 4 v square minus 10 v square plus 1 v could be written as plus 20 v minus 19 v and then plus 38 equal to 0 
and now I am going to chunk these terms into pairs as you can see over here. So in these first two terms we can see that v square could be factored out. So we are going to end up with v square minus 4 in the parentheses. In the next two terms we can see that we can factor out negative 10 v so we are left with v minus 2 and finally in these last two terms i can factor out negative 19 so we ended up with v minus 2 equal to 0 and now let's focus on this part v square minus 4 and here i have copied it down v square minus 4 which could be written as v square and 4 could be written as 2 square and now this represents the difference of two squares so therefore we are going to use this formula so we can write v square minus two square as v minus two times v plus two so therefore this given equation could be written as v square and here v square minus four i'm going to replace it by this part so i can write v minus 2 times v plus 2 and the rest of the terms are the same as you can see and now we can see that v minus 2 is in common among these so therefore i can factor out this v minus 2 outside and inside the bracket we ended up with v square times v plus 2 minus 10 v minus 19 equal to 0 and now in this next step i have distributed this v square within this parentheses we ended up with this cubic polynomial and now we can see that these two factors are equal to 0 that means each factor equal to 0 so that means i can write this v minus 2 factor v minus 2 equal to 0 so that means our v value turns out to be simply 2 and now let's go ahead and substitute v equals to 2 value in this equation 1 to find the value of u and here's our equation 1 let's go ahead and replace v value by 2 so u is going to become 7 minus uh, 2 square so that means u equal to 7 minus 4 so that means u turns out to be 3 value so thus we figured out our u value equals to 3 and v equals to 2 and now let's focus on this equation we know that u equals to 3 so thus that is going to give us x equal to substitute u equal to 3 value so this become 3 square so x turns out to be simply 9 value and now let's focus on this equation on the right hand side y equal to v square and now we know that v equals to 2 value so therefore we can write y equal to 2 square so y turns out to be 2 square is same as y equals to 4 value so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 9 and y equals to 4 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye